You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how small improvements to your smile can make a big difference in how you feel about yourself and how others perceive you. According to my first guest, he says, change your smile, you can change your life. With us, we have cosmetic dentist, Dr. Frey. Dr. Frey, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Well, thanks for coming out because, you know, we've tried to get you on the show for quite some time. So uh, good to have you here. And, and we should mention, by the way, and I'm, you know, this is a real interview. That means I'm not endorsing you. Right. However, the photos are some of the best we've ever seen. Thank you very much. I mean, these are, Thank you. because, you know, on the phone, when I hear a guy said, oh, Randy, it's going to change people's lives. It's extreme. I always think you're exaggerating, but these photos really are dramatic. So you got to check these out. So for people that don't know you, tell us a little bit about your practice, where it's located, who your typical patient is. Uh, I've been in practice like for over 20 years in Beverly Hills, and my typical patient is everybody okay. who wants to improve their teeth or their smile or just look better. And so we do everything from crowns, veneers, uh, den even dentures. and So the denture wearers also go to you for a fixed set of teeth? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. and um, So dental implants are pretty big in your practice? Absolutely. We are doing those on a regular basis. So your office, you say big on technology. Elaborate on that. Yeah, we believe technology can only help you. Okay. And so when we do a procedure, I know for a fact that having a diode laser to help balance the gum, I'll get a much better result than without one. Okay. So when I bought one, my, my world changed. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, we should mention your book. I mean, you wrote a book, Revitalize, show it to you, Revitalize Your Smile. Correct. A great book. You know, what I didn't expect when I looked at this book, it's a lot about self-esteem more than about teeth. That's right. Elaborate on that. Well, it brings, when you have a beautiful smile, it brings out your inner smile, okay. which is All like right. in your soul. And you can see people's face just light up. You know they're confident that they have that something about them that's just wonderful. So it mostly stems from the smile. How important is the smile? I mean, you're a dentist. You probably think it's the most important thing or what? Not just because I'm a dentist do I think the smile is hugely important, but okay. Men's Health comes out with articles, USA Today. They're co we're constantly being bomb bombarded by press that tells us how important a smile is to people. It is always at the top of the list. It like is. What and do you find attractive in somebody? Smile is always in the top three, I guess. It's incredible. And you watch television today and almost every other commercial is like a toothpaste commercial or something about improving your teeth and your smile. And it's just incredible how much our society dwells on are, just... Uh, are there a lot of people, by the way, that don't like their smile? Oh my do God. It's like so many patients tell me that they smile like this with their lips closed. So many patients tell me after they get their smile finished with us, they go and they rip up all their old pictures because they weren't smiling. Okay. So it's, it's incredible the life change that occurs after the, a procedure like this is performed for someone. Now I know you brought those photos, uh, so we're gonna get to those right away, but your training when it comes to cosmetic, you went, uh, to this LVI. You say people, dentists from all over the country go there to learn what? They learn how to be one of the best dentists in the world. Okay. And it's not inexpensive to go there. They, it costs money. So you have to really want to be there. But that when you learn what they teach you there, they really, really hone in on how to make a beautiful, Is gorgeous smile. Is there that smile. much to it, by the way? Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a very... it seems kind of easy, frankly, to me. Is it's not, really I mean, that much to it? I would say most dentists put that they're a cosmetic dentist on their door. Okay. But when you actually start learning deeply about what's going on, you realize how deep that rabbit hole is and how vast the information is. And you want to always be with someone who really understands the smile at a really complex level. Because I know really you get fired up. Level. We talked about this on the phone. You get fired up when I try to say, you know, is it really that, is there that much to it? How much art, how much science? As far as, because I always feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street. I say that respectfully. Well, it's usually in the hands of the dentist. So depending on the dentist is going to be your end result. Your okay. end result can look as white as you want your teeth or as natural as you want your teeth. So natural teeth aren't generally super white. So if you spot veneers from across the or street. Or big. They seem big. Or big. Yeah, that's in the hands of the dentist. Because so yours don't look big, by the way. It's impossible to, get, um, to have an end result look big 
because we have a method that we go through that makes sure that the patient doesn't end up with anything that they won't become. It's like a, a temporary smile kind of a thing. Exactly. We, we call it a trial smile. Trial but smile. the trial smile okay. they wear for a week or two prior to getting their natural new smile. So if they thought their teeth were too big at that point, they would come in and we would tweak them a little Do bit. Do you ever make changes where you see it and you go, wait a minute, I need to make Oh my God, well, I'm making changes all the time because um, that's what I am. I mean, I'm, I'm always, it's, it's artwork. So it's art and science, they're combined together, they're interwoven. And so that's what it is. You can't separate. Well, let's start with a, a few photos, okay? And if you're just tuning in, we're talking about smile makeovers or how smile could change your life. With us, we have, uh, you know, LA's hottest cosmetic dentist, Dr. Frey here. Uh, let's take a look at some of the work. Yeah, this to, is uh, this is Erica. Okay. And Erica really didn't know what she wanted more than she wanted a nice smile. When I look at her, I see I I want full control. I want control in okay. every way. I want the can I want the whole canvas. So when uh, you're with her, what do you see? Well, one of the things I see right away is I see a gummy smile. Look at the corners of her mouth. You can okay. see that it shadows in. She doesn't show There's her no smile there. there. No, she's showing too much gum. Her teeth are also a little misshaped. Also, if you look at the lower one third of her face, it's a little shrunken in. And the reason why- and Her chin. Her chin. And that's why she's showing a lot of gum. So what I wanted to do was help her bite a little bit, increase the what we call vertical dimension of her bite. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we're gonna eliminate the gummy smile and I'm gonna have control to make her a gorgeous, gorgeous smile. Okay, let's take a look at the after. Wow, doesn't even look like the same person at all. Put those side by side, look at the difference. But what's more drastic is if you see her in person, her posture, the way she holds her head, the way she holds her body, Everything exudes a lot more strength and confidence. It's a remarkable. It is interesting. You, you mentioned the chin before. So when you put these side by side, you're right. That it's like her. She has more. It, it's yeah. not. I don't even know what the word is for. But so we we, we, we gave the lower one third of her face the proper proportion that she needed. Look at this so wedding that, photo. I mean, this is great. So she went in because she she was getting married. That's right. And, you know, um, I mean, absolutely looks like a model. I, I had a married couple tell me that's the one thing they did for their wedding that lasted. Everything else was one day it was gone. But the wife's smile or the smile for the groom lasted. They get to look at each other all the time throughout their marriage and enjoy. Do they send you like thank you cards kind of a thing? It's like, it's sort of like they're indebted to me for life. <laughs> <laughs> after this. Is there, this is good. You yeah. Know? Yeah, so, feel free to brag about yourself, by well, the way, on this show a little bit. They, but, but some maybe, patients say, God forbid anything happens to you, Dr. Frey. I don't know what I'm going to do. They're worried. Don't, right. <laughs> okay, good. But here's an important point. She's smiling more. Her friends are looking at her and saying, Erica, you look beautiful. Like what happened? Yeah, what happened? They don't get it. People are so wrapped up in their own lives. So they, the husband, did, I mean, okay, so he's in this picture too. Right. What does he say to you? Thank you. That's what he says. Do they get emotional when they see themselves uh, for the first time? They do. It's a funny story, too, because Erica, um, she says, you know, I'm getting a new last name. And because I said, your last name now sounds very Hollywood. And she says, well, I'm losing. I'm getting a new last name. And I said, what is it? And she tells me. And I said, I live next door to someone with the same last name when I was a kid. And she said, you oh, my God. Kidding. No, this is a true story. And she said... <laughs> That's my father-in-law to be. Interesting. So I thought maybe God sent her to me to make a new smile for her to, for her wedding day as a gift. This is so a great story. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a tearjerker. Tear jerker. I told you I want to make that you cry. That was the one. And I felt uh, it a little bit. Uh, good. Go, I, I could make you cry on this show. No. <laughs> That's never happened, right? But that was, a, that was a good story. Okay, so next. Let me show you some men. This is, this is a patient of mine named Noe. And this is so typical in men that they don't show any teeth in their smile. What were his goals? Did he have low goals? And you thought, boy, this is going to be good? He, he came in with his wife and they both wanted a smile makeover and he really had no idea what it would entail. And he really gave me full control to do what I needed to so do. So what did you do? I did a full mouth revitalization. Wow, look at the difference. And by doing that, I had to open his bite and that was able for me to make the teeth long enough so he could show in his smile. Wow, look at the difference. And it's Did been, he hide his smile before, by the way? 
He couldn't show a smile even if he tried. But I mean, they were, I mean, people like this, do they, because you said they're walking around L.A., Beverly Hills. You think right. they're mad or angry. Right. But they're really just hiding their smile. smile. Here's another patient named okay. Pam, and she actually was beautiful. Her smile even looked great. She wanted to look even better. Her husband had veneers and had a great smile, and she wanted her smile to look as good as her husband's. Okay. So she came in, and uh, we made her teeth with porcelain veneers. She says that when people look at her teeth, they look with the eye very close. They can't tell anything was done. It's very natural. Interesting. Take a closer look at the after, and okay. you can just see that these are just perfectly contoured into the teeth. Everything's straight. The cuspids are nice and pointy. Gives her a sexy look. And so she, she Was this just, right after the procedure? Because there's a little blood uh, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. The, this was, that photo was taken okay. right after. I'm a dentist. I'm not a photographer. <laughs> okay. But still. So that's men, a, you have more men. Yeah, um, here, look, let me show you this. This is Rick. He actually has a good job. He's a high-tech company, like in the Silicon Valley. Okay. And so basically, we wanted to make him look a little older, a little more sophisticated. And his teeth just weren't coming together properly. And um, we were able to do what we call instant orthodontics, make his teeth perfectly straight, all in just one visit. So there, wow. It's incredible. Obviously. Look at side by side at these photos. In the job market, if he went in for a new job, who, is, who are they going to hire between the two? Well, the one that's happy mm -hmm. and smiling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Obviously. Now Rick has what I wrote in my book seven years ago, a billion-dollar smile. It looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks really good. It looks, thank you very much. Okay, so, the, so it's, it's more women still that are coming in? Or men? Every year we add up how many smiles we did per the year and we add up how many men, how many women, and believe it or not, it's about 50-50 every year. Is that right? Yeah, it's incredible. Now, people don't like going to the dentist, though. No, do you, but... Do you hear oh, yeah. that, though? Yeah, but we nobody have... nobody likes going yeah, to the Yeah, so, so we try to do this in just a couple of visits, and we have sedation, we have anesthesiologists that can allow you to sleep during it, and when you just wake up and it's finished. And then... We call it like tooth paradise. It's a one-way trip to Tahiti of smiles. And we're going to get you there. Once you're there, you're so happy. You're there. You made it. Is so, that right? Uh, yeah. So, so it's a trip to, to paradise, paradise by fixing your smile. It's a one-way trip to paradise. We should also mention, I mean, you're kind of the go-to guy for Hollywood. You do a lot of Hollywood smiles. And uh, you know I'm an American Idol fan. And you did uh, Elliot, uh, I guess, Yamin, right? Elliot Yamin, yes. How did you get a guy like that? Because I noticed it. And I told you this. Uh, and I was telling my son the same thing. We, I was excited. I said, I'm meeting the dentist that did his teeth. But I remember seeing him and I said, somebody's going to come forward and fix this guy's teeth. Because right. he's on TV. He was like in the final five or he, so. He had like 150 dentists that had contacted him. That Is that said, right? And they all wanted to do his teeth. And um, I got lucky. Is uh, one of a, a really good friend of mine that I've known for, who was also a patient okay. for 10 or 15 years, said that he knew Elliot's publicist and that they're looking for a dentist and that he was going to recommend me. He knew that I was so the So he told this uh, publicist, publicist, you've got to use Dr. Frey. Absolutely. And Do you Elliot think he was lucky in. that he stumbled onto you? I think anybody is lucky <laughs> comes to me, but I don't want to brag. Or, you are like but, about you. You know, because when I meet the guys at the top of their game, whether it's plastic surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, cardiologists, thoracic surgeons, that secretly they kind of tell me, I mean, they really feel like they're one of the best. Right. Do you feel that way? Absolutely. Is that right? So, yeah, no, I mean, I think anyone who gets me is God bless them. <laughs> so, <laughs> Elliot, is that right? Yeah. Good for you. Elliot said that once we took a picture of him and did the imaging and he saw what he looked like afterwards, he was, he said, I want Dr. Frey. Dr. Frey is doing my smile. So, I mean, I mean, you really are convinced that you're changing people's lives. Well, I'm not convinced. Patients tell me that I am changing their lives and I see Good. it. I see it when they come in because they stay my patients for years and years afterwards. So patients come in and all of a sudden they lost 15 pounds. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm sure the next time I see them, they'll put the weight back on. And they never do. They stay looking healthy and thin and young and they get better jobs. They do, they go off and they, you know, they have great lives. So I feel like that's because what's it, it must look beyond their teeth though their self confidence improves, and, right? And you know, but look, people react to self confidence, right? And that's a, that's a, okay. We we've, we've got some more photos, and plus we have one of your patients that we're going to talk to as well Great. coming up. But uh, what are, what are we looking at here? 
I want to show you Diane. If you look at just um, what's in between her lips, the, the amount of what we call the aesthetic zone, how much teeth show in between her lips, I could see it was very narrow. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to increase that. So by, again, it's a vertical enhancement by just going ahead and opening up the bite a little bit, I was able to get a lot so more teeth. So this is veneers, though. right? Veneers on all her teeth. So, so before every tooth. and the after, very yep. nice. Thank it you. does make a big difference. Look at the before, look at the after, and look in the corner of her lips. You can see how much more broad it is. But it goes it's like more filled than that. in now. It is, and it's not only that, but look at her neck. Look at look at the way her chin is. Everything, her whole face, her whole posture changes. You know, I have to tell you, you know, because I'm looking at this, and uh, I think anybody, you know, watching this, it's almost like she looks more. These patients look more sophisticated, almost. Right. You know. I mean, it's, it's like a, the perception so of... Uh, yeah, see, God wants us to be in proportion. There's certain proportions. The more proportionate we are, the more beautiful we are. And what I'm doing is I'm playing with that, and I'm putting people in proportion. And that's why they become strikingly more beautiful. Uh, this is Nikki. Nikki right. had a space in between her teeth. Pretty nice teeth, though. Yeah, but she didn't like it. In fact, um, she hated her smile. Is that right? And she had the space and so many people I'm sure can relate having a space in between their smile and they want it closed okay and so she wanted it closed like most people and it's a very simple fix we just went ahead and we placed delicate porcelain veneers over her smile and look wow. at that after result very nice good for you thank you this is um, Mary and Mary came in with her husband Don and they just wanted gorgeous a gorgeous smile she had crooked teeth, uh, she had teeth that were miscolored and discolored. She comes in and sh um, when she smiles, uh, she really didn't know what the problem was, but she had a lot of crooked teeth. They weren't flush across her smile. Is this she an had, easy one for you? I mean, in your a, mind? Oh yeah, this is... Like you get excited? Oh, for sure. I, I get excited whenever I can help anybody. <laughs> okay. And so she had also some dentistry on her teeth and we like to turn all the dentistry into the same coming from the same so that people don't see different generations of dentistry throughout okay. someone's life. Like patchwork, patchwork from the past. Right. right. Okay. Look at the after. Look at these side by side. Look at Wow. Look at what it's done for her. Look at her how she's managing her hair and look what she's wearing. <laughs> I mean, she's changed her life after this. Very nice. Thank Looks you. Good. Thank you. Let me show you Jamie. All Jamie right. had crooked teeth in her smile. She never liked her smile. Um, they were going, her teeth were going all different directions. Mm -hmm. And so we went ahead and we placed porcelain veneers on them. And she just told us recently that she's getting married and oh she's moving goodness. to Australia. So her life is now on a different path. Very nice. Look at the lower lip line, Randy. I mean, on the after, at, okay. On the after, look how it just, flo at? it just flows with her lower lip line. It so goes right just kind of goes right into the corner of her smile. It just kind of fades away. It's just, it's just um, very elegant, beautiful smile. So we have one of your patients that we're gonna interview, okay? And we'll get back to the photos. Uh, Shannon, tell me about Shannon. Well, um, Shannon already like, What did you do for her? Yeah, well, Shannon already had a, a pretty nice smile. In fact, when I first met her, my, one of my first questions to her was, um, what do you want to do with your smile? Because it's already very pretty. So after so, you told or after she told you, then you thought, okay, I yeah, think I could. Yeah. So when she started pointing out all the little uh, intricacies of her smile that she didn't like, I said, absolutely, porcelain veneers can help this absolutely. So we went ahead and placed porcelain veneers on her smile. Shannon, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. So with your smile, I mean, what's changed because of it? How has it improved? You know, Dr. Frey, of course, says that it changed your life. I, I would go with it made a big difference in my life. Um, I was just very self-conscious about my smile. It wasn't terrible, but to me, it wasn't right. There was something always off about it, and it basically just kind of drove me crazy. Do you find yourself smiling more? Actually, yeah, I do. I do smile a lot more. Um, I find it easier to smile. I can smile from any angle. Um, my husband is constantly just staring at me, asking me to smile more. Um, like I said, it's just a completely comfortable situation. I take more pictures of myself. I can go in at any angle, any time, any light, and um, everyone notices. I mean, I have people all the time asking me, um, what did I do to my teeth? What's different? Did I just get them whitened? They don't even look like veneers, which is great because you don't want everyone to know that you've had something done, but they just know that something's different and something's better. Shannon, I want to thank you for coming on the program. So Dr. Frey, is she like a typical patient? 
Oh, she's definitely a typical patient, and she's smart because she went ahead and she did something about it, even at her young age. And she's going to get her the rest of her life to enjoy it. Do you meet people that say, Doctor, I've, you know, for 20 years I haven't liked my smile, or, or I've oh. never liked my smile, and they're in their but, 50s? That's right. So people say they don't like their smile all the time to us. It's a constant theme. And so she's smart that she went ahead and did it in her late 20s. You know, but if you're 40, 50, 60, it's better late than never. You know, at the top of the show, we said change your smile, change your life. Uh, it, it's almost like with these photos that you proved it. So good for you. Thank you. Now, with this woman, though, because you, you said at the beginning, and we were talking at, in the green room about the differences in training and artistic ability from dentist to dentist to dentist. What right. should they look for in a dentist? Number one, look at their work. Okay. Look at pictures of before and after of their work. If you like what you see, then obviously this dentist can probably help you. Because you have a lot of photos, by yeah, the Yeah, but just, but just know that some teeth are more white than others, and some teeth might not. You might not like some smiling, but you'll love this smile. And a lot of it's because we give the patient what they want. So a patient says, I want... They actually pick the smile in your office. Absolutely. We have a design catalog of smiles with different shapes. Some are more round, some are more square, some are somewhat in between, but we try to so figure out what patients like. When patients are wearing the trial smile, we put a very kind of a white smile in their mouth. If, if they want it whiter, they can get it whiter. If they want it, this is too white, we tone it down. So we give patients exactly the smile they want. Do they ever bring in pictures of celebrities and say, can I get a smile like this? Absolutely, we get celebrity photos really? all the time, yeah. Big ones right now are Kate, Kate Middleton. Yeah, and they, they bring in the photo. Of Kate, yeah, well, Google, thank God for Google, you can just type in Kate Middleton smile and voila, you can see 500 right? photos. Okay. Yeah, um, Halle Berry's a popular one, Julia Roberts is popular. Those are all great, beautiful. Did oh they ever bring God. in pictures of me? Megan Fox. Did they ever bring in pictures of me? Say the they, guy from the Wellness Hour, they want teeth like mine. Oh, okay. yeah, no, Randy. <laughs> they don't. Here, let me show you another photo. All right, all right, Here, all right. This is John. John suffered from TMJ. He used to grind his teeth all the time. Wouldn't show him men's teeth and a smile. Look at his before. I mean, uh, he just uh, didn't like his smile at all. Okay. And, uh, you know, and look at his after, Randy. It's just um, he, wow. he's confident. Kind of yeah. looks like Nick Lachey yeah. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> he's, a, he's a businessman. He flies to South Africa. I mean, this guy looks so sophisticated, by the way, on the after. I mean, it's just Thank a big you. difference. It's almost like, without being pretentious, I guess, but it's, it's like a sign of wealth almost. I mean, they look different. They look sophisticated. Uh, I, just had, I just had a gorgeous lady in my office who just told me that men should have white teeth because <laughs> it's the one thing they can do for themselves that they can do. So men can't get their breasts done or do other things. Most men don't get facelifts. Okay. And so the teeth is the one thing men do for themselves. Did you tell her that she's preaching to the choir? Yeah. yeah. Right? That's the story of your life, right? You're always trying. Right. Now, now what is it with, because it, one of the conversations is very interesting, where a lot of women, they take care of their hair, their skin, especially in LA where you are, they, their skin, their hair, their nails, they, they, right. they've got the car, they've got, but they've got this old smile. Oh my God. What is it? You think it's their fear of the dentist or they just don't think teeth are that important? What's your I, take? My take is, yeah, I think it, it takes somebody to either tell them, hey, I don't know if you've seen your smile in the last 10 or 20 years, but it, it might be time to get your smile done. Who's going to tell that to somebody? You have to figure this out on your own. The bell has to go off. <laughs> and so, <laughs> How do you figure it out on your own? Right. It's, I mean, someone might insult you with your smile being, you know, sometimes it's just a child says, mama's got yellow teeth. And that's enough to get the mom to call us and say, I'm getting veneers. Okay. But, um, but also, you know, sometimes, you know, people are used to going to their normal dentist, their, uh, their dentist, and, and they don't seem to, to leave and say, oh, you know what, I need to go find myself a dentist to help me with my smile and do okay. it right. Because their dentist really isn't doing smile makers and not telling the patient when they come in, hey, you know what, you might be, look better with an, a smile makeover. Okay, good, good. Now, a, a lot of the things, and we are out of time. Uh, do we have time for one more? Sure, a couple more. A couple, couple more? Okay. People come in couples all the time. So this is a mother-daughter who came, and both of them needed to show more wow, teeth than this. a smile. This is yeah. a great. Where do you take these photos? I mean, because well, these are great, like, professional photos. You get I, them together and... I'm, I hired a photographer to come to my house, <laughs> and I, I asked all these patients, I said, would you mind, you know, helping, you know, coming well, to get nice. pictures? 
and they all helped me. I didn't have to pay any of them. They all did it because, because they're so happy and pleased with their smile. They they just uh, let me take pictures of them. Good, good. So I hope pleased. you have their permission to use them. Absolutely. On this program. Okay. And Let's here's another husband and wife, and here's the husband Donald, who came in and he's funny. He he came in. And he didn't even want to get his teeth fixed. And then when he saw what his wife was doing, he said, you know what? I want to get this done too. So, uh, so on the before, just what? What's going you know, on there? Just, he had a lot of dentistry on his teeth and he had a space, a little gap there, a broken front tooth. The teeth weren't together. And well, look at that after. Yeah, he this looks, guy looks like, like a million dollars. I mean, this guy's fantastic. Right, and he's a very successful man. It's a, he's a, and a gentleman. Uh, this is a patient with very small teeth who barely showed any teeth. I'm telling you, they were the tiniest teeth I've ever worked on, Randy. Okay. And um, I had to have complete control. I did all her teeth, and I was able to wow. give her larger teeth and a beautiful smile. I mean, that's a sexy smile, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very she's, nice. She's an attractive girl. But I she's, mean, that changes her whole look. Absolutely. Prior I to this, is this one of the, because you say a lot of people never smile. Was this one yeah. of those people? Oh, yeah. I'd say almost every one of my patients who come in have a chip on their shoulder. And I, sometimes I kind of want to find out what, where is this chip? Where is it coming from? And why are they here in Beverly Hills? Why are they coming to me to have, fix their teeth? Okay. So I, I find it on everybody. All right. So um, this is Fofi. And Fofi, again, um, barely showed any teeth in her smile. Yeah, you can hardly see is her it? teeth. Is she hardly smiling? No, no. Or she's she smiling. doesn't like her she's smile. She's smiling. It's just that she's got such voluptuous features, like beautiful lips, yeah. that it actually hides her, her smile. So what we did was we were able to place veneers on her teeth and, and bring teeth out to get her wow. to smile more. It does change in appearance. So that's the same. So technically, when I look at this, this is the same smile? I mean, she's using the same force to yeah, smile? Yeah, same force, exactly. She's completely changed. She's got to be thrilled with this kind of thing. Good work, by the way. I want to thank, thank you. you. We're out of time completely. Thank you, Appreciate Randy. Appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, you've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you'd like to see this interview again online, you just cut part of it, go to wellnesshour.com, put in Dr. Frey, and you can see the, uh, the entire interview there. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.